Hello and welcome to another episode of Robin Minds Plus. My name is Edward Desmond and on this episode we're talking about um, the hashtag NSARS and I'm joined by Usman Alabi. Usman Alabi, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. How are you doing? I'm great. Fantastic. So um, the hashtag NSARS has been top conversation on Twitter, on social media and even in one-on-one -on -one conversations with um, people. So what are your thoughts about the whole hashtag first before we delve into the different... Yeah, I think um, anytime we see um, the hashtag against us trending, you definitely know that something must have happened. And um, I think it started trending on, on um, if I'm correct, on Sunday, Sunday or so, Sunday, yes. when the Tiamio, the assistant captain of the Remo um, Stars Stars. Club, was um, allegedly murdered by, um, pushed out of um, a moving car by SARS. Um, SARS um, officers or a particular SARS officer and um, he was crushed by another um, moving vehicle and uh, the guy lost his life later that day. And uh, this happened in Shagamo at that time and before you know it, there's this uproar about the same thing we keep hearing all the time, hence us, hence us, hence us and since particularly this guy and um, this person is, is a young um, is a young person and so it, it's the same trend it's, it's the same tradition mm -hmm. that you have um, you have um, this particular set of um, um, this particular wing of Nigerian police harassing um, young people and with the perception that every young person that dressing in a particular way or using some particular flashy thing is you know, the, a stereotype perception about, oh, these guys are either Yahweh or, or, or something, um, you know. So that's exactly how, how we come about the present old reality happening now. Fantastic. But it's, um, where do you know that um, the police has um, debunked it? Um, there are reports that says that the police um, were not involved in the death of... Um, um, Kazim, but, and then the Inspector General of Police did order for a proper investigation to be done. So what are your thoughts about that? Well, this is not the first time that um, the, the, the Nigerian police uh, uh, work so hard to cover up a crime. It's mm. obvious that they are working so hard to cover um, up that crime because they are eyewitness. His friend was on, on the was involved in the situation. They were arrested together. And recently, I read something about the lawyers. Also, his lawyers, his family lawyers, coming mm -hmm. up yesterday to debunk that claim. And at the same time, saying that whatever stories that the Nigerian police gave is entirely um, um, contrary to the whole reality that happened. So, it, 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 you, you you don't have you, you don't have to know so much for you to know that everything that is happening is deep cover up. Because I can imagine them also thinking that oh we've caused trouble again what's happening mm. you know so that's it doesn't make sense that's probably why the IGP is calling for a deeper investigation into the whole um, thing that is happening years. they claim that the guy was trying to evade arrest and and the likes of it come on so that's that's exactly so is the police the usual thing trying to do cover up damage control and the likes of it but the deed has been done already but then moving back to um, the place you started your conversation um, on is whenever we see hashtag NSARS, it means something has happened, which means that after a while it fades. Mm -hmm. So what can we do to address this, um, this topic wholesomely? Because um, I did see a report where um, the leader of um, one of those communities, one of the, the leaders of the Remoland did um, order that there should be no SARS operatives in the, in the community. But then what can we do to effectively address no, the situation. We are not tired enough. And whatever needs to be done needs to come from the point of the people. You need to make or force leaders to be accountable. We can't keep trending answers every day someone die. So it means that this is going to happen again. No, no 
the commissioner of police for the state did not lose his job. Mm. The inspector for that area did not lose his job. Nobody was able to account for this guy who perpetuated this. And it is because of this consistent impunity. That is why these guys feel that they can keep doing this all the time and get away with it. So it is not even enough for you to come on the media and tell us that, oh, you're punishing the certain police officer that are doing this when you know that the all when you understand the notoriety of the O oh, and the SAS wing of Nigerian police itself, so it still boils down to where the people. I think we should. It's not new that we are saying that let us move beyond trending and SAS on Twitter because when we trend, it is not a guarantee that a Nigerian young person will not lose his life. We trended and SAS probably one month or last two months, all because somebody was harassed or died. And here it is again, somebody had died. And then we are still doing activism on Twitter. See, this guy is care, paraventure. You, you, cannot, you cannot even guarantee the IGP uses Twitter. Nothing happens on Twitter. So if you really want these guys to, to know that something is happening, you need a sustained, peaceful protest. And this is not a protest about Shagamu alone because it is happening in Benin, it is happening in Port Harcourt, it is happening everywhere in Lagos. So I don't expect it to be a Shagamu protest. Mm. And whatever it is, the Shagamu protest had ended with yesterday, I had not seen anything. You can't win a war with the Nigerian government on that. Go out, let them know that you're serious about this. So it's by God, how do you mean? All so cities. Si simultaneous peaceful protests across all cities, well coordinated, sustained mm. over time. Don't do a one day, one hour protest. What? what are the organizations that could push for this? Of course, or there are organizations that could push for these Nigerians somehow have a docile spirit. I've always argued that. Um, the little activism that you're seeing is because we have civil society organizations that are trying as much as possible to mobilize people mm. to understand that in a democracy, you can actually go beyond talking. John, there are several things you could do. You could have a hundred of you on the street with with a, with, with, with a white handkerchief covering your covering covering I mean covering your mouth, with all of you holding yourself together and marching to a government house just to prove a point. Do you understand? These guys are not going to listen to you. And what is going to be the consequence of the consequence of this is that size is not going to end. These guys are going to kill people. These guys are even are supposedly allegedly. I'm, I'm carrying out unlawful torture in their various stations. Mm. And these are things that the media do not even see. Do you understand? So we need to go beyond trending hashtags. We need to show. You see, when I see the hashtag on Twitter, I just move past it. I deliberately decide not to speak anything on it on Twitter because it doesn't change anything. Do you think the media is doing enough on the topic? <sighs> The media is what it is, though. I, I don't think we, we, we have been able to build that kind of militant media mm. in other parts of the country. So there's media, still some form of censorship? So there's still some form of censorship, one. And uh, the, there is this, um, I don't want to call it um, fright. Maybe I call it laxity. Um, the fact that it, they do not see it as something that 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 concerns them, mm -hmm. you know, this could even be um, 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 uh, how do I a CSR for for media? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? It, it's not bad if you have a media of continuously rolling out um, um, data about these attacks over time. The way you could have Transparency International doing it, telling us on a daily basis that, oh, this is the amount of people that are still in DSS custody. This is, oh, Abba Janigo is still here. They keep rolling it out on a consistent basis, reminding us that something is happening around, reminding the government that we've not forgotten about this. Mm -hmm. But we, we seem not to have uh, that kind of media that who stay on a matter until something is done. We all pick up on issue because they are trending. And once it stop trending, we stop running after it. I do hope that um, wholesome change does come and people who watch this um, get to, uh, they are challenged to do the work and um, all of the people in power get to do the work. Thank you so much, Mr. Usman, for joining us on this episode of Rebel Man's Plus. I'm so happy for that. Thanks. Any final words? <sighs> Take activism beyond Twitter. It doesn't 
have any consequences whatsoever. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. There you have it. That's been an amazing episode of Robin Man's Floss. My name is Epua Desmond. <laughs>